I'm headed to the Twin Towers right now. The intention is to get two tickets for the Twin Towers tomorrow. We are staying just in front of this Twin Towers and we've done nothing about visiting this place. I mean, people actually come from far away just to visit the Twin Towers, right? Their online ticketing system is currently not available. Now, I'm not sure whether this is for the duration of the RMCO, so I would recommend to check back from time to time. They are not taking online bookings, so that is why I'm headed to the counter. And um, apparently, foreigner pricing is higher than if you're a my card holder, which kind of sucks. They are giving preferential treatment to local Malaysians. Maybe that's why it appears to be discriminatory, but Oh yeah, so that's the way it is. Now it's actually true that some locals could not otherwise afford or would hesitate at paying this much for a visit. That's the park in which we're supposed to be practicing my biking. That has not happened yet. I've not even begun to, to ride my bike in a straight line. I decided to take a walk around the park. From time to time, actually quite regularly, you'll see barricades around sections of the park as they are constantly maintaining it. Back to the right is Binjai on the park. They've got a dedicated entryway into the park. It's just slightly after 10 o'clock, the, so the temperature is just comfortable. Once it gets into 11 o'clock, it's going to be pretty uncomfortable. I know a lot of Westerners like the weather here in Malaysia, but uh, a lot of us local Malaysians like to spend our time indoors in the air conditioning. We find it too hot for us outside. a little overcast today. This tower is showing 1024 right now. That tall building right next to the Twin Towers, that's the Four Seasons. And here we are, the Twin Towers. It's too bad that the weather was murky that day. There's the fountains there. This is another one. Oh, look at that. 
these fountains turn on every evening at 4.30. Usually there would be a crowd congregating around this area to enjoy the scene. Dotties to get to the Philharmonic Hall. That's where the ticketing counter is. This tall and sleek building here is the Four Seasons Place, a fully serviced private residence. Chip visited this place once with an agent and the place had top security. In fact, men in full suits with earpieces. This one here with the greenery is called Les Nouvelles KLCC, kind of like the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, but in this case it's the Hanging Gardens of KL. Right, so I want to try to get there. I've got to switch off my camera because uh, they have security inside and I don't want to get into trouble. Nice fountain. That's the public bank over there. That's not her door. What are you talking about? Of course it's her door. Hello? Hi, morning. Is this where I get tickets for Twin Tower? Yes. Okay. Uh, is there any availability for tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah. Yes. Okay, these are for two person. One my card holder and one foreigner. For the person, eh? Yes. Do you need to see the passport? Okay. My, my, my card, yes. And just a reminder to research the latest operating hours and prices. And perhaps by the time you visit, your tickets can already be purchased online. Okay. okay. So 11 a.m. is it? It's the earliest. Yeah, the first one is 11. Visit right now is only to the establish level 41. Oh, okay. We're going up to level 83, basically, the observation. Only to the establish. Like, last time we, we follow people uh -huh. in the area. Yeah. Proceed to level 86 and 83. Oh, okay. Means we have to come back another time. Yeah. <laughs> October onwards. October, okay. Okay, so I'll get the 11 a.m. for the uh, Sky Bridge. Do you take pay wave? Yeah, yes. Okay. okay. Visa or Mastercard? Uh, visa. Visa. Alright, I prefer that I repeat visit for tomorrow, 11 o'clock, one my cat and one adult. Yeah. 76. Okay. So Thank you. Okay. Alright. Alright, great. Where are you from? 
Ah uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, as in Subang Jaya. <laughs> yeah, but uh, ever since I got married, then I'm staying here lah. You know, we're staying there all the time, and then we never yeah, come here to visit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the middle visit will take approximately 15 to 20 minutes eh, to the bridge. Okay. So we'll just be here by about 10 or 15 minutes before lah. 10 or 15 or 5 minutes before. Okay. Okay. Cool. I'll show you later towards the end of the video what the ground floor above looks like. I decided to make a latte stop at Dottie's. I enjoyed their red velvet flavour that I had here previously, but this time I got myself a butterscotch. They've got quite an interesting selection of pastries and cakes here. For example, a lemon polenta cake. Lemon polenta cake. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. This has got a slightly salty taste to it. It's butterscotch latte. Um, I actually prefer the red velvet. It's, um, I'm still not used to the idea of having salt in my sweet drinks or salt in my sweet pastries. You know, I know they say they're supposed to enhance the taste. Right. It's like a sprinkler system that's going off, except that it's not a field or a golf course. Clouds are coming out again. That's the KL Convention Center over there. That tall building on the left seems to be a new extension to it. We've been watching the construction work from our place for some time now. And I found out pretty soon why my butterscotch latte tasted diluted. Uh oh. I think that's all the butterscotch at the bottom. No wonder I'm not getting much taste of butterscotch. 